Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Many birds are fearless predators, and they can tackle a variety of prey. Have you ever seen the kookaburra in action? What about the snake eagle? If you want to see some formidable birds in action, keep watching. As we count down 15 epic bird attacks were caught on camera. Number 15. Sparrowhawk. The Eurasian Sparrowhawk, also known as the Northern Sparrowhawk, or simply the Sparrowhawk, is a small bird of prey in the family Accipitridae. As female sparrowhawks are larger than males, they're able to prey on larger birds and can even kill something up to the size of a wood pigeon. This sparrow hawk sits on a wood pigeon when two magpies come to harass it. The hawk is upset and lets the magpies know he will attack them if they continue, but the magpies don't care. Meanwhile, the pigeon is stuck under the hawk, and it's obvious he's dead. The magpies want the pigeon, but it's not happening. In this video, a male sparrowhawk is killing a starlight. You can see the starling is pinned to the ground and cannot move. Starling fought valiantly but ultimately lost. Another sparrowhawk jumps on a starling as if it was a bouncing ball, and the result is the same. The starling eventually succumbs to the vicious attack. This sparrow hawk attacks a feral pigeon, and as much as the pigeon tries to fight off the hawk, there is nothing it can do, and the hawk begins plucking the feral pigeon's feathers. This time a crow must deal with the sparrow hawk's relentless attacks, and the blackbird doesn't fare much better than the pigeon. This sparrow hawk returned with a small bird after a quick hunt and brought it back to his antler. Before moving to the next number, we just want a small favor from you. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and get one week good luck for you. Try this, it really works. Number 14. Owls. Great horned owls are powerful predators that can take down large prey including raptors like ospreys, peregrine falcons, prairie falcons, and other owls. They also consume much smaller animals such as rodents, frogs, and scorpions. When clenched a great horned owl's powerful talons require 28 pounds of force to open. This lethal grip is used by owls to sever the spine of large prey, but unfortunately, things do not always go well for these adored live chambers as you can see in the video. This owl is snatching a few babies from this nest. It looks more like it's eating them on the spot, I guess the mother is running errands somewhere else. These barn owls are disturbed when a pigeon comes and crashes into their box. The owls were just beginning their bonding process when the incident occurred. Will they return after this? Your guess is as good as mine. This owl is lost when some cats find it on the sidewalk. It's probably injured, but one thing is for sure it is terrified of the cat, and the cat has no clue what to do. This great horned owl attacks a peregrine nest while the mother is not there and tries to snatch the babies. The owl grabs one of the falcons and takes off. Number 13. Seagulls. Seagull has a strong body, elongated legs, and webbed feet. The beak is slightly hooked and usually yellow in color. Seagulls are one of the rare animals that are able to drink salt water. They will even hunt in groups, working together to get food away from other animals. As we've seen before, seagulls can take on larger prey, and this one attacks a squirrel and stabs it several times with its beak until it dies. After that, the seagull employs an old trick and swallows the squirrel whole, as if it were candy. The squirrel tried to attack the seagull, but the massive bird appeared to be too powerful for the small squirrel. In Triana, Norway, a dramatic bird attack was captured on video. The residents of the island are surrounded by these birds, but they have never seen anything like this. Is this due to a lack of food, or was the bird that was attacked already injured and thus an easy target? Because the attacker did not appear to give up, an onlooker eventually chased them away from the injured bird, allowing it to flee. Because seagulls don't have teeth and their claws aren't very efficient, they can't separate the meat from the bones as we can, so it's in their best interest to eat as quickly as possible. This seagull is cleaning up the streets by swallowing pests like this rat hole. 
It looks so delicious, what do you think? This seagull tries to catch a few ducklings having fun on the lake, but mom defends her family by leaping into the air to fend off the seagull. A large gull snags and eats a baby duckling while pursuing mallard babies from the air. Many young flightless ducks are swimming around looking for food, and because they can't fly, they're easy to catch and eat attracting predatory birds such as seagulls. A fight between seagulls and pigeons would most likely benefit seagulls because they are slightly larger and have larger beaks. And when the seagull tackles a pigeon on the sidewalk, he easily drags the pigeon into the middle of the street. And it's not hard to see that the pigeon is toast. Number 12. Harris Hawks and Goshawks. Wow. Most hawks hunt alone. Harris Hawk, on the other hand, is not one of them. Even though it is a fast jackrabbit, it prefers to hunt in packs and can be lethal. The first hawk notices a jackrabbit. It's not going to be an easy catch. These airs invented evasive maneuvering, and they can run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour and leap 10 feet, but it may take more than that to escape the air wolf pack. The first hawk flushes the jackrabbit while the others keep an eye out for the escape. So when the rabbit instinctively zigzags away from one predator, it runs straight into the talons of the other, and the entire family shares the spoils. Gas hawks have been used to hunt live prey such as rabbits, pheasants, and other animals for centuries. This bird of prey is the ultimate hunting bird due to its exceptional agility speed and razor-sharp eyesight. This video depicts a goshawk hunting a jackrabbit in one of nature's most dramatic hunting scenes. These Harris hawks have slaughtered a jackrabbit and are plucking its feathers in front of these dogs. I guess this is one big happy family and everyone including their handler, work together on the hunt. In the Sonoran Desert, a group of Aries hawks pursues a cottontail rabbit weaving in and out of cacti as they get closer to their prey. The first hawk's job is to entice the rabbit to come out of its hole, and once it does the second hawk arrives for the kill. When the kill is completed the two hawks split the meal. With his hawks and German short-haired pointers, this hunter pursues pheasants, ducks, rabbits, and squirrels. Everything captured is dispatched humanely and consumed by the hunter hawks, dogs, and ferrets. Is there is nothing left to chance? This Harris hawk is hunting a pheasant, and it's hard to watch the hawk bite chunks of flesh from the bird's neck while it's still alive. Number 11. Kookaburras. Kookaburras are terrestrial tree kingfishers of the genus Dacilo native to Australia and New Guinea, which grow to between 28 and 47 centimeters in length and weigh around 300 grams. Kookaburras have the skills and the beak to successfully hunt large and dangerous prey, so they are great buddies to have around your place. Did it? I'm just landed beside him. This kook has caught a snake and is tenderizing it so it can have an easier time to eat it. This kookaburra shows this tiger snake who's the boss. The kook grabs the snake and kills it easily. This kookaburra clashes with a magpie, but after the initial contact, the two birds don't seem to have any interest in pursuing the altercation. Kookaburras eat small birds, and that's exactly what this kook is doing, it's actually trying to swallow the little guy whole. This kook darts out of a tree and captures the snake, beating it to death and eating it whole. These kookaburras fight when a magpie wants to join the scuffle. The three birds seem to have engaged, and this looks more like a threesome than a fight. Number 10. Snake Eagle. The brown snake eagle is a fairly large species of bird of prey in the family Accipitridae. It is found in West, East, and Southern Africa. This species is an almost obligate predator of a variety of snakes. Another snake dies at the hands of an eagle, this time an extremely dangerous black mamba. This eagle is literally swallowing the snake whole. For the kill this brown snake eagle hunts and pounces on a cobra. This snake eagle is up against the cobra and slowly tries to grab the snake by the tail, but the cobra is a difficult prey to dispatch. The battle is eventually won by the bird. In a park, an eagle and a snake crossed paths. I had no idea what kind of park this is, and I think I'd rather not know. 
This eagle has landed on a snake in the middle of the street and is enjoying a tasty breakfast. Number 9. Golden Eagle. The golden eagle is a bird of prey living in the northern hemisphere. It is the most widely distributed species of eagle. Like all eagles, it belongs to the family Accipitridae. A golden eagle is on the prowl for rabbit meat and has targeted a potential prey. The eagle takes off and heads for the kill, but the rabbit is quick and outmaneuvers the eagle the first time around. But that was just beginner's luck. The eagle gets the kill the second time. This golden eagle has taken a gosling and is bringing it back to the nest to feed its young. While the gosling is still alive, they both consume it in. In this case, I believe the adage of one man's death as another man's bread applies. This is nature's essence. This eagle bites off more than it can chew when it latches onto a goat, and the two of them roll down the side of a cliff strewn with boulders. The eagle bears the brunt of the impact, and I wouldn't be surprised if one or both of its wings are damaged. The goat escapes when the eagle lets go, but the eagle is shaken. These two eagles have captured a wolf and are refusing to let it go. Their handlers must arrive and remove the birds of prey from the wolf's head. I feel terrible for the wolf. Blood can be seen running down the side of this deer's body as the eagle stands on its back. What comes next? The deer is clearly too large for the eagle to carry away, but it is also too large for the eagle to kill. An eagle lands on a snake in a park and begins stomping on it with its talons in front of all the park visitors. It's an incredible sight, not something you'd expect to see on a Sunday morning stroll through the park. This golden eagle soars above a roe deer its next meal. Despite the deer's best efforts, the eagle swoops in for the kill and clings to the deer's back. The deer tries to flee for his life, the eagle's handler runs alongside the two animals. The eagle does an excellent job and successfully completes the task. Number 8. Bald Eagle. The bald eagle is a bird of prey found in North America. A sea eagle, it has two known subspecies and forms a species pair with the white-tailed eagle. This eagle swoops down and kills a mallard duck. The other ducks force the eagle to fly away without his kill, so he circles the area looking for a chance to snare the dead duck. The ducks, however, lunge at him every time he swoops in to make the grab. He finally flies right through and grabs the kill. Following the death of a juvenile heron, the eagle plucks all of its large feathers and drags it up onto the grassy area that is visible above them in the video. She ate some of it, as did the other eagle, who was presumably the male because he was smaller. A bald eagle and a coyote fight over a fresh deer carcass. When a coyote comes to annoy it for a taste of the kill, the eagle charges it several times, attempting to discourage it. The coyote, on the other hand, is tenacious and tries and tries to get to the carcass until it succeeds and runs away with it, but drops it along the way. It's a never-ending battle between the two animals for the prize. When this bald eagle snatches a couple of chicks from a nest and flies away with them clamped in his talons, he doesn't waste any time. Donald Trump the runner-up for person of the year, agreed to pose with a bald eagle for a Time magazine cover story. As he was establishing himself as a serious contender. The eagle didn't seem to like it, I guess the eagle was a Democrat. Number 7. Hawks. A European starling is being killed and its feathers plucked by this sharp-shinned hawk. Sharp-shinned hawks are accessory hawks that primarily prey on birds. They are an important part of the ecosystem because they hunt weak and sick birds while allowing the strong ones to breathe. This hawk is crushing a backyard bird and we can't hear a peep out of the victim. Perhaps he's already dead and if he's not he will be soon because the hawk has begun to pluck the feathers from the helpless bird. This cuckoo bird is begging this hawk for mercy, but the hawk plucks its feathers and begins to feast on it without holding back at all. Woodpeckers are tough birds, but this hawk is giving it a beating and the woodpecker is powerless to stop it. The hawk eats the woodpecker alive, and it does a good job. This sparrow hawk catches a Jacob and a cuckoo, and as much as the cuckoo laments itself, the hawk is not concerned with its well-being it's hungry, and it's going to eat it. Number 6. Minas. 
During the breeding season, minas seek out nesting hollows and evict native birds and animals. Indian minas kill other birds' chicks, destroy their eggs, or build their own nests on top of them and suffocate them. These minas attack a chameleon. We've seen the chameleons can be tough opponents in other countdowns, so this is not a guaranteed win for the birds. A few minas gang up on one mina, and it seems like the argument is about food. What else is new? These minas are involved in a royal rumble, but the problem is there is no referee, so the birds fight without any rules or restraints, and it's an all-out war. These miners are trying to destroy the sparrow's nest for some reason these birds give out a negative vibe. Number 5. Peregrine Falcon. Peregrine Falcon is well known for its ruthless hunting techniques. A wild juvenile female kills a drake mallard with a high-speed headshot in this video. When she collided with the mallard, she was traveling at around 90 kilometers an hour. When pursuing field feeding waterfall prairie falcons frequently use this technique. Because the duck is heavier and stronger, the ground struggle is reduced when the smaller falcon delivers a knockout punch. It exemplifies the falcon's agility and speed. A man and his girlfriend were camping in Long Key, Florida, when they saw this peregrine falcon dive bomb scoop up a yellow-crested night heron and bounce off the road in front of them. It was amazing to watch it attack such a large bird. This peregrine falcon scout the area and hunts a green-winged teal duck as it soars over a beach. It doesn't take long for the falcon to aim and fire, and the duck's life is over. This peregrine falcon kills two ducks and goes on a wild hunt with the third. This peregrine falcon swoops down on a great blue heron in midair, and when they crash land the falcon takes command of the situation. A peregrine falcon kills a pheasant, but the most disturbing part of the video is how the falcon consumes the pheasant. This is not for those who are easily frightened. Number 4. Magpies. A magpie kills and kidnaps four barn swallow chicks from a nest on an island in Norway in this video. This bird doesn't seem bothered by the presence of this insane magpie, but it should be. The magpie waits a few seconds before striking, then violently grabs the bird and flees a few feet away. The magpie attacks the bird again before walking away. When the owner of this house went outside to investigate the noise, he discovered two blue tits battling a magpie. Because he couldn't see anything out of his bedroom window, he went to the bathroom window. He missed most of the attack and by the time he got his camera out the little guy was either dead or on his way to his funeral. The person who was filming had no idea magpies could be so dangerous. This magpie attacks the rat, and the rat does not recover. The magpie transports the rat to a more secluded location to eat it after the killer bird has softened it. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 3. Toucans. Toucans are members of the neotropical near passerine bird family Ramphastidae. The Ramphastidae are most closely related to the American barbets. Toucans are omnivorous. In the wild, they eat a variety of foods including a multitude of fruits and berries plus lizards, rodents, small birds, and an assortment of insects. ¿Qué está haciendo? When a cute hummingbird tries to extract the nectar from these flowers, a toucan grabs and crushes it you can see how small the bird is in the toucan's mouth. Toucans are often thought of as friendly fruit eaters, but they are omnivorous and quite aggressive. We saw toucans kill a nita bat while on a bird watching tour at Playa Cativo Lodge in Costa Rica. This toucan is on the hunt for a parrot, and it just grabbed one. His friend asks him if he wants to share, but the toucan turns away with a parrot because he wants it all to himself. The toucans are also meat eaters, which many people are unaware of. Here we see one of Ripley's wild cousins following in its ancestors' footsteps by raiding a nest and devouring someone else's baby's hole. I guarantee you'll never look at toucans the same way again. Number 2. Pelicans. <laughs> Pelicans have gigantic mouths, and you can see for yourself in our thumbnail. This pelican is swallowing a rather large animal whole. 
This huge pelican scares the living daylights out of this cat. When it tries to snatch the cat, the feline's quick reaction allows it to avoid the attack and run away. These pelicans are fishing and they are quite good at it as they snatch some fish from the water. This pelican grabs a duck and swallows it whole. The duck tries to escape, and you can see it move inside the pelican's gular pouch, but that won't stop the pelican from swallowing it. A flock of birds gathers in St. James Park in London to eat tourists' breadcrumbs. A pigeon took a crumb meant for a pelican and ate it. When the pelican got angry, he decided to eat the pigeon instead of the crumb. Number 1. Great Blue Heron. Mama duck is attacked by other ducks and leaving her ducklings vulnerable to a hungry bird. Two of her ducklings are devoured by the great blue heron. Heron is fishing and finds little turtles where he looks. This is a successful fishing trip. Weasels are tough little buggers, but this heron doesn't seem to care when he attacks this weasel head-on and finishes it off. During the duck breeding season, an avian predator eats ducklings to diversify its food intake, and an enraged mother duck can do nothing to protect her offspring from this predatory eating behavior. Because ducks are much smaller than herons, a mother duck cannot adequately defend herself and her babies from an aggressive heron that eats ducklings. Many of these birds impressed me, but the pelican is the bird I enjoy watching the most because of its huge gular pouch. I just freak out when I see prey stuck in there, still alive and moving, but not able to escape. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for more amazing videos.